Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video, we will derive the relationship between Poisson's ratio, bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity. In previous sections, we have already discussed that gamma is equal to 2 neta into 1 plus sigma. This is gamma is equal to 2 neta into 1 plus sigma. And again, we have discussed that gamma is also equal to 3 beta into 1 minus 2 sigma. So gamma is also equal to 3 beta into 1 minus 2 sigma. This we have already proved in the previous video. Now we have to establish the relationship between th these three variables, neta, sigma and beta, and we have to eliminate gamma. <coughs> so we can equate gamma and we can write that 2 neta 1 plus sigma is equal to 3 beta <coughs> into 1 minus 2 sigma. So if we multiply these terms, 2 neta plus 2 neta sigma is equal to 3 beta minus 6 beta sigma. So we can uh, rearrange the terms and we can uh, rearrange in such a way such that we have to uh, find out the sigma. So this is 2 neta sigma plus 6 beta sigma is equal to 3 beta minus 2 neta. So neta is equal to 3 beta minus 2 neta. In fact, this sigma is equal to 3 beta minus 2 neta upon 2 neta plus 6 beta. So this is the required relationship between uh, Young's modulus in fact, between sigma, Poisson's ratio, bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video, we'll discuss the relationship between Young's modulus, bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity. So we have already discussed in previous videos that gamma is equal to 2 neta into 1 plus beta, in fact, 1 plus sigma. And gamma is equal to 3 beta into 1 minus 2 sigma. So this we have already established. Now we have to eliminate this sigma. So we can just do one thing that we can write it down as gamma is equal to 2 neta into 2. <clears throat> In fact, we can find out this sigma. So this sigma from this term is equal to sigma is equal to gamma by 2 neta minus 1 and sigma from this term <coughs> will be uh, 2 sigma in fact this 2 sigma will be equal to 1 minus gamma by 3 beta so sigma from here will be equal to 1 by 2 minus gamma by 6 beta so we can equate these terms <coughs> equation 1 and equation 2 so we can see that that gamma by 2 neta minus 1 will be equal to 1 by 2 minus gamma by 6 beta so again rearranging these terms and we uh, can see that gamma into 1 by 2 neta plus 1 by 6 beta is equal to 3 by 2 okay so you can see and therefore gamma in fact we can say that uh, we can take two common and gamma into 1 by neta plus 1 by 3 beta is equal to 3 okay now you can see that this is <coughs> uh, ta again taking uh, if we can write down that 1 by neta uh, plus 1 by 3 beta is equal to 3 by gamma and if we multiply all the terms with 3 so multiplying with 3 we can see multiplying with 3 so we can see that 3 by neta plus 1 by beta is equal to 1 by gamma so in fact this is 9 by gamma 
दिस इज नाइन बैगामा ओके सो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन गामा बीटा एंड नीटा थैंक यू